Ladies and gentlemen, the Latvian election was a total bloodbath. The parties that won first, second, third, and fourth place in the 2018 election were all completely wiped out. They won 68 out of 100 seats four years ago. They won zero out of 100 this time. I can't think of any election ever with results this crazy. Now, there's two very obvious causes of this. The first is Latvia had one of the most extreme lockdowns, one of the most extreme vaccine mandates. And so part of this is the fallout from the lockdown and the mandates. And part of this is because of the Russo-Ukrainian war. Latvia is nearly a quarter Russian and they are most concentrated in the southeastern corner. So obviously there's going to be some bitter divisions that arise over the war going on right now. Now to explain this, I need to go back to the 2018 results. Seven parties made the 5% national threshold and were awarded seats. The first place party was Harmony, which are the Social Democrats. And they're gone. Boom. No more seats this time. Then you had uh, who owns the state? Second place with 14.3%. This was uh, basically a conservative party. Now, they had already been imploding for a while now and forming different factions and some of their members had defected to other parties, but boom, it's completely gone. Then you had the new conservatives with 13.7%. They are an establishment center-right party, part of the EPP. Boom, they're gone. Then you have Development 4. Now this is essentially Latvia's version of an Emmanuel Macron style party. Basically uh, centrist, classically liberal, pro-business liberal. Now, Keep in mind that in America a long time ago, the word liberal became a euphemism for leftist. That's not actually what it means in Europe. A liberal can be a leftist in Europe. They're not necessarily a leftist. But at any rate, it looked like they were going to get slightly over the 5% threshold. But then once about 99.5% of the votes were counted, they dipped below 5%. Right now, they're at 4.97. There will probably be recounts. The official results will probably be delayed for days because of this. But as it stands right now, boom, they're wiped out. Zero seats. Now, the other three parties that won seats in 2018 are National Alliance. This is... Latvia's Nationalist Conservative Party, uh, demonized by the mainstream media. Now, National Alliance has been part of the ruling coalition since the 2014 election. So anytime for many years now, when you see an article in the so-called mainstream media, and it says countries in which an evil bad boy far right party is part of the government. Latvia has always been on the list uh, because of National Alliance. And they are back. And then you've got the Union of Greens and Farmers. And this has been a big party in Latvia for a long time. And it's, it's not a leftist party like the Green parties in the rest of Europe. Um, it's not necessarily a conservative party either. It's somewhere in the middle. And then New Unity, which is essentially a splinter group of the old Unity Party, which is an establishment center-right party. So those three did come back, but the four biggest parties, gone. Now, just imagine if there was an election in Germany and the four largest parties in Germany were wiped out. That would be a revolution that would really alter the course of, 
of all of Europe to some degree. Okay, here's the results from yesterday. New Unity got 19%, 26% of the seats. As I said, this is basically an establishment center-right party, probably not unlike American neoconservatives. Then you've got Union of Greens and Farmers, 12.4%, 16% of Parliament. Then you've got Unified List. This is a brand new entity, 11%, 15% of the seats. Now, the parties in this alliance are pre-existing, so it's not brand new parties, it's a brand new alliance of some small parties. Now, the largest party in this alliance is the Latvian Green Party, which goes back to the 1990s. However, once again, this is not really a leftist party like most of the other Green Parties in Europe. It's really just a centrist party. Back in the 90s, it may have even been considered a right-wing party. Then you've got National Alliance, 9.3%, 13% of the seats. Uh, like I said, this is the bad boy National Conservative Party that the media does not like. Now here's where it starts to get really interesting. We've got this brand new party called Stability. This is a Russian minority interest party. And they got 6.8%, 11% of Parliament, now, in 2018, the main Russian minority interest party only got 3.5% of the vote. That same exact party ran again and still only got about 3.5% of the vote. But somehow, this brand new Russian minority interest party did very well. Now, there's five regions in Latvia where seats are awarded. Then there's 43 individual districts. Stability came in first place in one region and five districts. If you looked at a demographic map of Latvia, it would be easy for you to predict where they won because it's the areas that have the highest concentration of Russians. Now, the stability party's main issues are the right to have Russian language schools for their kids and opposition to lockdowns and vaccine mandates. Now, there's some other minor issues involving uh, reforming parliamentary processes, but those appear to be the two main things. And the areas where stability won used to be strongholds for harmony, the social democratic party that got wiped out. And so a lot of harmony's voters appear to have defected to this Russian minority interest party. And recently, Harmony expelled two of their own members of parliament from the party because they opposed EU membership for Ukraine. So there's definitely uh, divisions going on over issues around Ukraine and Russia, and that led to the rise of this party, as well as the, the lockdowns and vax mandates. Then we've got Latvia first. Once again, an absolute brand new party. They got 6.2%, 9% of parliament. Now, they ran as a strong conservative party that opposed lockdowns and vax mandates. Uh, there was another party, KUK, it means uh, for each and every one or something like that. It was founded by former members of a party called Law and Order. They also uh, campaigned is a hardline conservative party that opposed lockdowns and vax mandates, but they only got 3.7%. However, before the election took place, Latvia First and KUK had already gained seats in parliament from people who were defecting from other parties. So that shows you that the lockdowns and the vax mandates played a big role in this upheaval because parties were unraveling over that issue uh, before the election took place. Then the seventh place party uh, is called the Progressives and they got 
10 percent of the seats now interesting uh progressives got slightly less of the vote than latvia first but they got one extra seat that's because even though you have to have a five percent national threshold the seats are still awarded via proportional representation within each of the five districts that's kind of an odd thing now this is just my speculation i don't know this for a fact but since seats are awarded proportionately within regions but you have to get a five percent national threshold it seems to me like that was done to prevent regional parties from winning seats in parliament and i would have to guess that it was possibly aimed at the russian minority and that's it was to keep russian parties out of the national parliament that would be my guess i don't know that for a fact uh if you're from latvia or you know more about that post a comment below now once again for development the liberal party is right on the edge 4.97 percent right now last i checked so i assume there's probably going to be a big recount and the official final results will be delayed for days and theoretically the results could still change significantly if they decide that this party really did get five percent now new unity and national alliance were coalition partners already now they can join with latvia first and they will have 48 percent of the seats they will need three more seats to maintain a center-right ruling coalition in Latvia. So the obvious place I see for this to come from is to recruit three people from Unified List because their members are going to be from multiple different parties and they could potentially pick some of these people off to be part of the ruling coalition. Now, if unified list and the union of farmers and greens were to join with progressives the left-wing party then they would only have 41 percent now that leaves stability the russian minority interest party now just because it's a russian minority interest party there's people on both the left and the right who might very strongly object to coalitioning with them now there's elections going on right now in bulgaria and brazil i will have more videos coming up soon all right thanks for watching this click the like button post a comment below tell me what you think about this please subscribe to my backup channels on odyssey and bitshoot because there's no telling when youtube might suddenly delete this channel and you can support me on Subscribestar and Patreon. Links in the description below. And click the subscribe button. New video every few days. And probably tomorrow.